It's also known as the Facebook phone because it's the first phone around Facebook phone, which is their launcher basically. Um, it's $99 on contract from AT&T. It's stock Android 4.1.2 with Facebook Home on top. It's got a 2000 milliamp uh, battery, a dual core 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 processor, a 4.3 inch 720 by 1280 resolution display, which is 342 PPI. It's got a 5 megapixel camera on the back and a 1.6 on the front, which is also a wide angle lens. And on the hardware tour, up here at the top, we got our power button and our headphone jack. On the left side, we've got our volume rocker. On the bottom, we've got our speaker. And then on the other side, we got our SIM card slot and our micro USB port for charging. And down here on the front, <clears throat> you've got your, your front-facing camera right here. You have a charging LED light over here and your three capacitor buttons, back, home, and uh, menu. And your 4.3 inch 720p display. Now this is running Facebook Home with with Android 4.12.2 underneath it. So the notifications are a little bit different. You can swipe them away by tapping and holding and swiping. You can swipe one away at a time. You can also if you tap on the screen, it'll hide them. You can also get to them, you know, the normal way. But you can hide them and then swipe back and forth. Plus one, or like, comment. Excuse me, I'm too used to Google Plus, not Facebook. Um, then down here, you've got your little chat head, which if you go up, it'll go to apps. To the left is Messenger, and to the right is a dynamic icon, which is your last app that you opened. So let's go up to apps. Here's your app drawer. Looks kinda gingerbreadish. If you remember how stock Android was in gingerbread, it was pretty much scrolling like that. Uh, you got your Google Now up there, which if you swipe over, you got all your shortcuts right here that would normally be on your home screen. Um, we just don't work, of course. Now, to get to recents, you double tap the home button, and you've got your recents just like you normally would. To get to Google now, you just press and hold home and you run Google now. It does have LTE, which is always good. It's stock Android and you can turn off Facebook home very easily. Let's show you how to do that right now. Just go into home settings and it's the first one. And there we go, stock Android. You got everything back, your widgets, your... And there you go. And that's just a quick look at the HTC First from AT&T.